it's Tyrone from OutsourcingLive.com and inside today's video, I wanted to do a comparison between two sites. I usually get asked quite a bit on where to find virtual staff such as virtual assistants, programmers, search engine optimization experts and so forth. Pretty much anywhere that you need for outsourcing and I usually refer people to two different sites. One is the virtual staff finder and you can access that at getvirtualstaffinder.com which is also an affiliate link that I've got here and also to bestjobs.ph which is the other site that I'll just pull up right now. Okay, so the two different sites are very unique in what they do. Let me firstly explain to you. Firstly, the virtual staff finder is basically a service which helps you find the virtual assistant or the type of virtual person that you need to run your business and they'll go out there, search it, interview them for you and then come back with the top three best candidates. Now, in comparison to that, Best Jobs Top PH is basically like a job board or a job seeking website directly in the Philippines which you can access to probably like thousands and thousands of potential candidates here. The biggest difference here is that you've got to go out there and find the people here and this here as well is a cost. In actual fact, both of these actually have costs. So what I want to do is just run through um, the, a little comparison just to show you some pros and cons of each site and I guess I can, I'm, I'm more sort of inclining to recommend a certain way but I want to actually show you so that way you can make a clear determination on what's best for you in your situation and if you're on a budget at this point in time, you may want to consider different options as well such as like um, other websites out there. All right, so let's firstly start with the virtual staff finder and let me show you a quick overview of how it works so that way you can understand the process. Firstly, if you just go to how it works, there's a five-step process inside the virtual staff finder. It's pretty easy to use and I personally have used it numerous times and people who join up to the Mass Outsource Mastermind full program, the, the platinum program that I offer, I actually sent um, a proportion of their fees over to the virtual staff line to help them find the VA or the, or the piece ball that they need. And the great thing about doing that is that it's very reliable and it's very quick and saves them a lot of time. So as I mentioned, there's a five-step process. The first step is pretty easy. All you have to do is if you want to sign up and get access to this, sign up here and just basically just pay off $350 investment and that's the cost that you have to just pay up front and that's a one-off fee to be able to help you find the candidate. Then after that, what will happen is that Chris Ducker, which is my good friend here, he will send some videos over to you. Check that out. You know, there's some information about virtual staff and how to manage them and so forth. And what they'll do in that same period of time while you're re reviewing the videos, you've got a period of time where they'll go out and start sourcing all the candidates for you. And most more than likely because Chris has a large team here, over 200 staff, they've probably got candidates already lined up and it's just a matter of matching them to you like a matching dating service kind of thing. Once they've done that, interview them and what they'll do is once they've interviewed them and made sure that they're matching the, the information that you need, then basically they'll send that to you. Now, I forgot to mention as well, the process is pretty simple after you've paid and once you've paid as well, they'll send you a simple email and they'll get you to fill in a job description and then reply back to exactly what things you need in a virtual staff before you can go and find them. So that's the process there and that was something I just forgot to mention as well. But um, it's a pretty simple five-step process. The first part is you pay for it. Once you pay for it, you receive an email, fill that form in in, in re relation to the requirements that you need and then they'll go through that process and come back to you. And just from my experience, it's been very pleasant. It's been very easy to deal with and also I found that the same thing as well for others. And the reason why I say that is the person that I've worked with in the past that has come through Virtual Star Final, which is Stephanie, she's just sent through back to me three candidates that I thought that was suitable for the programming job that I was hiring for. I interviewed the three of them just to make sure that I was happy with them and out of the three, I just chose the best one there. Now, just to let you know, to be realistic, not every time will these candidates be perfect for, for your business and in my experience, I had had to go through this um, service twice to be able to find the right programmer for a particular role and unfortunately, after the uh, first time, it didn't work out so I had to go back to Stephanie and do it again and it's not going to be perfect. I'm just telling you up front, it's not perfect 
all the time. But from the experiences that I've heard, most people have been okay. Now, my good friend Gideon Shawick, I actually referred him to this service and he says, luckily someone recommended and that was me that recommended. And he also had a very similar experience as well the first time around. Apparently, it's something to do with the time zone where they were, um, yeah, it was muddled up. But as I said, you know, he, that was all sorted out. I spoke to Chris about that and just from my experience, we've worked out really, really well and, and thanking to Chris for sorting that all out. Now, I've heard Pat Flynn and also Corporate Bar have all done very, very well with their first experience. So, as I said, it's very hard to, te- to uh, determine exactly upfront what's going to happen, but just go through that process and trust that it works. So, so, those were some of the pros that I was talking about. The other thing I just want to mention as well, the pr- uh, pro with this service compared to say like a bestjobs.ph is one, it's quite reliable. I mean like 95%, you'll probably get something that's going to be p- pretty good. It saves you a lot of time and that's the key thing is that as an entrepreneur or as a business owner, you don't have time to go out and find you know, look, sift through best job PH, for example, yourself and spend hours and hours and hours looking for the right person and doing all the interview process. Basically, you got to figure out if your time's worthwhile to pay for than spending it yourself just to save that few hundred dollars. The other great thing about the virtual staff finder is that it's located in the Philippines and this whole service has been set up and dedicated by Chris's team over in the Philippines, mainly over in their head office. So you can you pretty much can't go wrong. If you're going to look for someone who's going to be reliable, you may as well find the source and have them f- source it out for you directly. And as I said, they're pretty reliable and pretty quick. So you know you expect probably within 10 days that you'll get a response back and found someone hopefully. Now I just want to give you a quick comparison to bestjobs.ph. Bestjobs.ph is something which you can sign up annually and annually you pay a fee of roughly about the same, it's about $350 to about $400 for a whole year. And the great thing I guess in comparison to Virtual Star Finder is that you do have access to this service for the whole year. So if you don't go well and you, you need to find more candidates, say for example, if you're looking just for like say 10 candidates or something like that, then this may be a better service for you because then that way you can actually find 10 people to help you um, run your business. Whereas imagine if you had to go through this virtual staff finding, you need to find say 10 people, um, it'd cost you like 3,500 just to be able to source the right thing. And that's a completely, completely different service altogether which I'm pretty sure Chris Ducker from his virtual team will probably offer that as well. But in, in that comparison, if you're looking to find more candidates and you're worried about not being able to find that right candidate up front, then best jobs p.ph would probably be a good option as well. I guess I wanted to also compare how easy and also the guarantees behind it. Now with the virtual staff finder, they provide a 10-day guarantee, 10-day guarantee and I'm sort of like now talking about the cons behind the different ones because I've talked about the pros and what I wanted to share with you now is really the cons of it and I think 10 days isn't really a a very strong guarantee and I know Chris is probably going to say back to me, hey, um, why is that? And I I think at least 30 days would probably be at least a minimum of what people usually come back with and that's just pretty much the standard of products, you know. I think for 10 days, it's okay but I think that probably should be a little bit longer than that. That's one of the things that I think is probably a con for comparison to say like best jobs or PH because if something doesn't happen, you know, at least you've got a little bit more. Though I guess in, in comparison to saying that they do offer you that 10 days if you can't have if you can't work with that current person that you found for that first 10 days, then they'll be more than happy to send you three more new candidates to choose from and then go from there. After that you've got to pay another three hundred and fifty dollars to be able to get another set of three. And that, that's fair enough. Business-wise, that makes sense for other people or for, the, for their company. But for us as consumers, I would probably say I'd prefer a little bit longer time for a guarantee. And also too, I guess the other thing is you do need to fork out money initially to be able to do this. It's not like as if it's a trial service where you just go and buy it and then hopefully trial it works then pay. You need to pay it up front of that $350 um, initially just to help them find. And that's a fair enough service. You know, I guess with any service out there, 
you can't expect that they're going to do everything for free. And I guess in comparison to say bestjobs.ph, you do pay three fifty, and you do get pretty much a whole year's worth of access so that way you can try to find the right candidate or to find more. Overall, I really just wanted to let you know the ins and outs of it because I have been through this experience myself and also I have had numerous of my students through the Mass Outsource Mastermind course go through this service as well and most of them have come back to and said it's been fantastic. So, I can't put anything down for this because you know the truth is, is that it's a great service but I just wanted to share with you the, the real realities of things so that you can be aware and be prepared and upfront. Now, my verdict on this is as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, I highly recommend going through the virtual staff finder service rather than spending your time going through bestjobs.ph because the fact is, is that this will save you time and they'll find the quality candidates for you since they are in the Philippines. And if you are wanting to purchase this or, or to use this service, um, I, I just want to recommend just to check out my, my link here which is over here and I'll just write it down here for you. It's basically get virtual staff finder and you can actually click on this link that's just right below this video as well too and if you do go through this um, link here that I've provided which is getvirtualstaffinder.com um, I want to firstly thank you for that because I do get a affiliate commission from that but also too if you um, go through this link I want to just give you a, a free workshop that I did previously that's valued at $97 and it goes through step by step on how to manage all your staff once you've actually hired them and it gives you pretty much all the templates and stuff like that. So if you do go through this service, let me know, send us an email at our support and I'll send that um, free uh, workshop to you. That's a video workshop that goes for about two hours or so and that will guide you through step by step on how to manage your virtual staff once you've hired them. All right, I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, little review here and also this comparison. You know, I compared the Virtual Staff Finder versus the bestjobs.ph site which is both pretty good but in my opinion as I recommended, the Virtual Staff Finder is a bit better uh, to go for and if you do get a chance to check it out, check it out and let me know. Now, if you have any further questions, feel free to leave it down below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Well, that's it for this video today. My name is Tyron Shum from Outsourcing Life and just outsource it. Now, if you like more resources like this one, you can find them inside Mass Outsource Mastermind along with video tutorials and step-by-step -step instructions showing exactly how I use them. To get a 30-day no-risk trial membership to Mass Outsource Mastermind, simply visit freevideoset.com. Until next time, I wish you success in your quest for outsourcing.